right so basically once you have the dragon running this is the first thing you're gonna be seeing on your screen all right so now let's dive in and see how we can implement it how we can you know change the screen and give it what we want all right so i'm just gonna head over to the documents in this place i'm gonna uh, go back here yeah copy this then i'm gonna open my sublime text okay open open oh yeah so we have my sublime text open already so i'm gonna open a folder a folder a folder anything you call it I'm just gonna open this i'm gonna paste this there all right so i'm gonna select this folder a folder or folder anything there this is it right yeah right so now we're gonna be looking at the the file structure you can see now we have the my py so this is our project here so this here is a configuration for our python the jungle kind of stuff so this place set the environment to the what so the settings so this is the setting set this is just like redirecting is like getting all the functions from the settings and importing it here we'll make use of this is um exact um maybe when you want to make use of some hosting or when you want to make it make it online you're gonna be working with this in some case not every cases in some case right then we have the settings on py this is where all our django settings are being made if we want to load our static file it's gonna be here we want to load our media file it's gonna be here we want to add our application it's gonna be here right so we have the urls this url is, a, is the um is the location uh yeah the route the route exactly for example www.facebook.com slash friends that point is there is a route we are navigating to you can see we have a demo on which is admin so this admin i'm not gonna touch it now we are gonna see that later on in the future all right and right, now we have this wsgi this is just like the the first one i opened all right so basically we are going to work with this when hosting you are going to work with this not this i kind of take them to be the same all right so this is it here so we have our project running bot and this is our database here so we're going to be making it of sql light then the manager py that run our server this is it right here you are not meant to touch this part all right so now you can see we have a project but we don't have an application so in Django, it works like this. You need to create a project first. Then after creating the project, then the next thing that comes after it is the application. So just imagine me creating a folder or a folder. Then under inside that folder, then I started building my real application inside. So that is how this um Django works. So to start our our application, all we need to do is just navigate to the terminal again. I'm gonna close this. Right, so I'm gonna close this then. I'll go back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in Django. Sorry, this is gonna be Django admin start app. So, start up the name of our app is not gonna be blog. All right, so when I hit enter, you can see, yeah, you can see automatically the folder has been added here. Now, you can see we have our application as we created successfully. Right, so now you can see this is the admin page this is where we are going to be registering our models uh this is the app page this is gonna this is the app name the configuration this is the models this is the database this is the um, test uh test case you can see we make use of this in the test case and this is the views.py right this is where everything we are going to be working with from this is like the front end you get what i'm saying all right so basically now we are going to be looking at routes all right so let's dive into the routes Thank you. 